There's two parts to the training. One is learning how to do it, and believe it or not, that's not quite the so difficult part. The more difficult part is knowing when to use it, how to use it, how to maintain it, and then how to either bring people off of it or not. So we're really fortunate to have this. It's put in from, we say, percutaneously, which is outside the body. And we use that to take care of the sickest of heart patients that we see. I think I wouldn't have been alive if they hadn't used it. My life would have been sort of semi-worthless. And uh, that, that held no enjoyment or future for me as far as I was concerned. So it was either they came up with that, which was fantastic, or I would just continue to suffer the pain. He may not have been able to get off a ventilator after a big open heart surgery, and that scared him. Uh, and that markedly elevates his risk. I consider myself lucky to be part of the health system that's able to invest in this advanced therapy. The patients and their success stories just sustain us when we're trying to work hard to get someone through. I feel that we're able to do things that were never even considered possible and have that impact that you almost uh, robbed someone from dying. You know, that is very emotional. I really appreciate the support that St. David's uh, partnership the hospitals have, they are all very excited to raise the level of cardiac care here in Central Texas. I feel like we are all part of this team and we all celebrate the successes today.